morning. Yes, sir, Bob. It's time to rock and roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Teach you. No naggy. So first thing in the morning. It's 20. Hey. There we go. 622. Late start-ish. Sort yeah, of ish. We took a 10 hour and what? 15 minute break. I mean, we took our 10 hour break. So. Uh, oh yeah. I've got to proof. Approve all. Yes, sir. There we go. Okay, so we're rock and roll. We're in Kingston. I know I didn't uh, end the video very good last night, so I apologize, but we're in Kingston. And look at that sky already. It looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day. Yes, it does. So let's get rocking and rolling. we got to get into Terrebonne. we got to reset that. Blah, 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 blah. What am I resetting, you say? I'm just doing my GPS thingy, my doohickey. See, I don't really use the GPS in, in the fashion that some people seem to think because I get some really weird comments sometimes. I like it because it shows, there it shows kilometers to destination. I don't as much look at But I do look at the kilometers. That's what I like. I like to see the kilometers. Um, I still go my own way a lot of times and the thing gets pissed off big time. But it gives me a general idea because I look at the kilometers and I know roughly how long I have to go. Mind you, running right the corridor. Oh my gosh, I've got watery eyes this morning. Uh, right on the quarter, you get to generally know it anyways, but it's always nice to see how much you have left. So then in your mind, you know, you can, anyway, whatever. So we got uh, about three hours and, and some change, and we're good to go. Appointments for 10 o'clock, it's 6, it's 6, it's 6.24 now. So we got lots of time. We'll get there early. Hopefully we don't run into any backups, by the time we get to Montreal, everything should be cool anyways, so but you just never know. So, let's get going. Yeah, yes sir. Is it ever turning out to be a bright day today? Holy crapper snappers, Batman. Somebody went and put 150 water into that sun this morning. Oh, they put such a bright bulb in there. Holy crap. It's, it's starting to dim down a little bit there now compared to how it was when it first come up. Yep, we got a little bit of fog flying here and there. Most of it's starting to lift now. Looking like a beautiful day. Oh, Lord. Is it nap time yet? Yeah. Apparently not. Hey, we still got 228 kilometers to go. And who knows what they're going to do with me today. I'm supposed to be getting home sometime tomorrow, but if they do it right, I could get another turn in. That's not to say that that's what they're going to do. Every time I think that's what I'd like to do, they give me something different. So, we'll have to wait and see. So technically, I could go back to Kitchener, or Toronto, Mississauga, whatever. Deliver for tomorrow morning. Or even late this afternoon, I could probably be able to do. As long as they get me something right away. reload in the morning or something for Ottawa or something you know that would be good of course Ottawa's would end up only delivering like tomorrow night could always give me uh... mind you there's those Smith Falls ones that wouldn't be bad if they have one of them ready and run home empty from there that would work out good because then it could be deliver that one in the afternoon for one two o'clock but well, we'll have to wait and see who knows maybe they'll make me play uh, city driver or something for the day or maybe send me off to Quebec City and bring one back to Dorval who knows just play it all by ear Da, 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 da. All right, we're 
are coming into uh, the outskirts of Montreal. In the Vaudreuil area. Etc. We're going to watch our speed going through here. I'm hoping you guys can see it as we go by. Montreal is in, uh, and this is for anyone who may be coming to this area and coming up on the 40 here, coming into Montreal via the 40 through the construction, be forewarned, uh, they use photo radar for the construction zone. Trust me, you don't want to get that little surprise in the mail. picture of you speeding on by the camera as they take a picture of the front of the vehicle. Although I am not sure 100% why, because in Quebec they don't have front license plates. So this makes no sense to me unless I saw the camera wrong Unless somehow it does take a rear picture, I don't know. I'm going to have to double check this time through to see if there's a second camera or something. Second box. But if they're taking a picture of the front, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Because Quebec cars do not have front bumper license plates for the province of Quebec. So does that mean they're only targeting Ontario and out-of-province motorists? See, what to say? That means photo de radar. At least I'm guessing what it means, but I don't really understand. But it doesn't sound like it means photo radar, because photo radar is two words. Next, what to say or whatever that is means. I know someone's laughing right now from the Quebec area of all of my many followers that are from here laughing their ass off at me right now because I butchered that word. Oh, great. I hate when this truck comes out. That means somebody's coming out of the construction zone. He's going to jam on the brakes. Oh, we're going to get over a lane because we don't want to have the brakes jammed on us. I'm guessing a dump truck or something's going to be coming out. Okay, so we got to keep an eye out for the, the radar, the dingy, the radar. Can't remember where it is now. It's along here somewhere. See? I told you the dump truck was coming out. But you don't believe me, huh? Okay, where's the radar thingy? Thingy of radar. Where are you? I'm pretty sure I didn't pass you yet. Did I? Maybe I did. Alright, that sucks. I wasn't expecting that. Where the hell did it go? I know I saw it the last time. Maybe it's in the next construction zone? No, I was pretty sure it was in that one. I don't know what they did with it. I just screwed that portion of the video up, didn't I? I think it was just before the construction zone, but I wasn't. I was paying attention more to the truck with the flashy light telling me that he was going to jam on the brakes. Oh well. I'll have to do it in another video and show you then I guess. Unless there's one in the next construction zone. I pooched it. I screwed it in. Yes I did. Alright let's see if it's in this section of the construction. I don't think it was. I was pretty sure it was back there for that bridge one. I didn't think they had one in through here. I know I saw it last week, for God's sakes. I don't know how the hell I missed it. I don't think there was is one in here. This got one of them movable uh, center mediums. I have a special uh, machine. I call it a machine because it's a machine. That 
actually picks them up and moves them over. And just drives along, picks it up on one side and slides it over to the other side. So it's like in the mornings, first half of the day, it's three lane going in to Montreal and then in the afternoon they'll switch it over and it'll be three lanes coming out and two lanes going in. So I don't know if they have it sitting here or not. And they park it off to the side somewhere, I just don't know where might be at the other end and I just didn't notice the fancy machine I don't know where the fancy machine might be parked but we will see I know it's going to be a long ass video of driving through a construction zone video I'm going to be able to get today. It's going to be a quiet video day. I'm not sure yet. Where, oh where is the fancy machine? I know, don't give up your day job. Well, as you can see, I'm not. I'm doing it. Oops, sell it on, going the other way. I did not wave. I'm a bad boy. Ah, oh, the uh, fancy machine must have been parked at the other end. Oh well. So much for that idea. Montreal. We're all done. See what I said? You remember when we came in this morning? We had there was only two lanes going this way and three lanes going back. Well, as you can see, there's three lanes going this way now. So we are going through the construction again. And the big news is we are going home a day early. Yes, sir, we are. We are going a day early. Woohoo, baby! Yep. Boy, is Linda gonna be shocked. She's gonna have that look on her face. It's gonna be the what the? And then it's gonna be this is not authorized. Oh well. It's anniversary weekend. Yes, sir, we Bob. That means I gotta take an end out to dinner Saturday. And now that I got an extra day off, I wonder what I'm gonna do with all that extra time. I know we got the furnace guy coming in tomorrow, so we'll talk about that later. This will be the first weekend that we have a return of home time videos. So you guys will have home time videos for the weekend, I hope. Hopefully I don't screw it up. Hopefully I remember to do some videos. That's the big question. I know you guys have been asking for it, so... The home time video shall return. I don't know how exciting they're going to be though. Well, lots of work to do around the house too. I had to put... Uh, I was going to put Jess's winter tires on, but I don't think I will. Still, the weather's still a little bit too warm. Anywho, we're heading out, and there you go. Oh, those fall colors are coming rapidly. Ah, the leaves are really starting to change now. Check out them colors. Gotta love the fall. 
even though we're not officially in fall yet, but... We're home. Yes, sir. See, there's the house. We're home. All right. So we're just waiting for Linda to get home. But uh, the furnace guy is due coming soon. So we're going to get ready for that. Kind of get our crap in the house. Yes. Sir. 